do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. So we have another boy, Ranger. Okay, listen. Today, you know what I'm saying? I got an icy. We finna be reacting to Andrew Tate's most controversial clips. Now, personally, you know what I'm saying? Recently, I think he just got banned from Instagram or Twitter or something. He got banned from somewhere. But um, I seen this little thing pop up recently. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I have not like saw and watched out this man's content. I know a lot of y'all probably have. Um, I don't know if y'all like him, don't like him. You can comment down below. Really don't care at all. What's your opinion on him? We finna watch this though. But personally, I seen a bunch of stuff pop up on my TikTok for some reason. He was all over my TikTok for like a week straight, two weeks straight. And a lot of people hate him. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, he's just like the, the other dude that just passed away. Uh, what's his name? Kev, Kevin Kevin Samuels. Kev, that dude. He's saying factual things. I almost I almost agree with, I would say, 90% of the things that he says. You know what I'm saying? Me personally. Now, of course, he'd be saying some off-the-wall stuff. He says some crazy things that will let him go viral. You know what I'm saying? Or he'll amplify it to make it sound more crazy so he'll go more viral and get more views. Obviously, you know, he's doing that. Obviously, and that, that's where the controversial, comes, the controversial stuff comes from. But the bare bones of what he's saying, I agree with most of the stuff he'd be saying. That I've heard, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying everything he said. I'm saying the stuff I've heard. And like I said, I've not sought out this man or watched a bunch of his videos. So I can just go off some of the stuff that uh, he said that I personally agree with as far as, like, um, just how dudes are and how women are, are and all the different type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I agree with all that personally. I'm not a modern person. I do not want to. I never wanted a modern wife because these modern girls be, I don't, know, I don't want them. You know what I'm saying? You might want them because you're a modern dude. I'm old school. I like Old school husband, old school wife, old school, you know what I'm saying, how it is. Um, but there's, the new age people, I don't know what the heck wrong with them. They're stupid. But we finna get into this. I'm a, we gonna watch it. I don't, like I said, I probably have not seen a bunch of these clips. So if he says some stupid stuff, I'm gonna tell you he says some stupid stuff in my opinion. If I say, if I agree with some of the stuff, I'm gonna say I agree with it. But if you're excited for this video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? Also, before we hop into the video... Jurad.com, even my two and third free, or you can bundle up to say stuff $50. I'm, this icy has stopped me from doing everything, but I'm so excited to eat it. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but yeah, let's just hop right into this. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Do y'all like Andrew Tate? Do you hate him? Let me know why you hate him or why you like him, personally, in the comments down below. No, this is a, this is a safe zone. Whatever you say, nobody in the comment section will care. I promise you. Like, nobody else will go read it but you. But <laughs> let's hop right into this. Oh, and I don't think he should have been banned from Instagram or nothing like that. Like, I don't... I, at the end of the day, he, I don't know, I feel like there's people that do wor way worse things that are still on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff, but, hey, I don't know, it's, whatever the heck, I don't know, it don't matter to me. Let me change that. You will only even acknowledge he exists if he's ignored how he feels 99% of the time before that. Because if he was sad most of the time before that, he never would have got to a place where he could attract a woman like you. The man who works in Starbucks, who's sad all the time, you won't reply to him. Neither will any other female. So for women to come along and pretend they give a f about the fact that most men are basic, most men are basically invisible. There is not a female on the planet who's invisible today. You can be a four overweight fat. You'll still go to the club and get attention. Ninety nine percent of the men go to the club and nobody even can talk to them. That's facts. Not me, of course. I'm freaking sexy, and also I don't go to the club, so I don't know. If they try and talk to a girl, they get blanked and ignored and told the. To most men are absolutely not really invisible. This is the truth about masculinity, right? It's very easy for women to sit here and complain about the top 2% of men. Because I've dealt with this guy, he's arrogant, blah, 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 blah. Most men don't even exist. They send 10,000 DMs and never even get read, let alone replied to. So if you just sit here and say, I'll get a G, a big G, a boss, a millionaire, and let him have a day off, very nice of you. I'm sure you would. Yeah. But if, you got, if a guy who wanted to have days off all the time, he never would have got important enough in the first place to attract a woman like you. And that is the reality. As a man, it's player versus player. It's ultimately competitive. And as a man, you have to outcompete the other men who are prepared to get up and do it anyway. That's how it works. There's no such thing as saying, I'm sad, I need two weeks off. Not as a man if you want to be important. I mean, if 12 tigers attack me and I manage to defeat 11 in unarmed combat with my Aikido and the last tiger gets my neck, that's a, that's a fine way for Tate to die. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Wait. Not as a man if you want to be important. I mean, if 12 tigers attack me and I manage to defeat 11 in unarmed combat with my Aikido and the last tiger gets my neck, that's a, that's a fine way for Tate to die. Ah, ah you cheater, you cheated. It's, 
bang out the machete, boom in her face, and then grip her up by the neck. Like, shut up, bitch! Why would you suck dick for free? I want to know the context behind that. What? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Because I feel like a lot of things... Okay, so bada boom, bada bing. I think a lot of things he'd be saying sometimes might be taken out of context. Like that clip right there, that sounds like he just wanted to freaking beat up women or something. But I don't know the context behind it, so I can't be like, oh... He's a he's a woman beater or something like that. I don't think I doubt that's what he was talking about at all. But obviously not seeing the whole video, you don't know what the heck going on. I'm not here to defend him or nothing. I'm I'm honestly just speaking my own opinion. But Lego, let let's see what's going on here. Because I love doing it. What the fuck? I don't like. What the fuck? I love sucking dick. Why would yeah, I? You have no oh future God. with these men. So why not at least get paid for it, right? I am getting paid for it on fucking OnlyFans. I don't need to them to pay me. I make way more than they could ever give me. Fans. They get paid twice. I don't believe in depression. Don't message me about depression because I don't believe in it. If you're asleep in your bed in the middle of the night and you hear a noise and you believe in ghosts, now you're afraid. But if you don't believe in ghosts, ah, it's the wind and you go back to sleep. You give the ghosts power by believing in them. Your house is only haunted if you believe in ghosts. Belief is a powerful thing. I were to stand in front of you and I were to tell you that I could punch you as hard as I can in your sternum and I could fracture it and send a splinter into your heart. Would you allow me to try? You wouldn't because you know I believe I can. I believe I can hurt any man on the planet and that's why people are afraid of me. And you believe depression is a crippling disease and that's why you're afraid of it. What would you do? That was really random the whole punching the splinter thingy but I mean, I get what he's, I get what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, your mind is way more powerful than a lot of people give it props for. You know what I'm saying? If you believe something is as powerful as you think it is, it'll obviously be that powerful. But I'm not saying like depression is just like a whole made up thing. I'm not saying that. It's definitely a thing, but ultimately you are in control of depression. Um, it's very hard to control because people that go through depression, I'm not I'm downplaying. Everybody has depression and goes through depression times and has like real depression. You know what I'm saying? I'm not downplaying it at all, but I'm still just saying it's ultimately your mind. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's kind of like what he was saying with the whole ghost thing. That was a good analogy. But then if you switch the analogy and say, if I don't believe in guns and I don't believe in bullets, if a bullet comes and hits me, I don't believe in it, so it can't do nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, 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 I understand where it's coming from, but the, the, the bullets go hit you. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to start an OnlyFans. I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with women doing OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. As long as I had influence and control over it. What do you mean? Do a bit of photographer and get the angles, yeah? No, no, no. no. I'm not doing any real work, but just like taking all the money. Huh? If my chick said I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? Ten grand, or right, give me eight. All right, cool. All right. Why would what woman is gonna give? I like that idea. It's good. Now, me personally, it just never happened. You know, what I'm saying you can't do it, but it does help a little bit if you're getting a nice 80 20 split. But me personally, I would never. If you with me, you ain't doing the OnlyFans. I'm your only fan. I'm your only fan. I'm the only fan you need. You know what I'm saying? If you ate grand. You're my woman, you're doing OnlyFans, you're selling my products. The fuck? Your products. Yes, correct. Not, not Next question. Position. No. I don't know if you're being serious. I'm totally serious. How would I let my chick do OnlyFans and keep all the money? That's disrespectful. What woman is ever going to give you that? Then she better not do OnlyFans. Duh. Imagine one day you're sitting in Paris and having a fucking coffee, and terrorists roll through with AKs, and the person next to you has their brains blown out. You're going to stand there and be like, waiting to die like a motherfucker. I'm gonna be like, bang, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, boom, boom, duck and dive in, take one terrorist out, next get the AK, go Rambo, take out all of fucking Pakistan with a G. I don't think the world has ever been equal. That the modern society we live in has been built by men. Let's cut the crap. All the roads you see, all the buildings you see, everything around you, men built, all of it. When women come along and say, oh, we're we're just as important you are just as important but you do had a completely different role you fulfilled a different role in society and i think now if you look at the roles of society i believe men are still doing their job but i don't know if women are doing their job men are this is kind of this is what the kind of stuff that i'll be agreeing with you know what i'm saying i don't know and i don't care what you i'm not gonna lie to you you could be men in the comments and all this but men and female were created for two completely different things what interrupting my video Hey y'all. I'm telling. Never mind. Just go. He was in this dummy. You don't even know him. Get out. Yes, just go. Just get out. 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 Anyways, back to what I, what the heck I was saying, right? Men and women, completely different. Two different species. And 
the whole equality and everybody wanting to be equal and bada bada bada. It just doesn't make sense. Like to me personally, that's why I said I'm more old school. Because like at the end of the day, women are stronger at certain things. Men are stronger at certain things. That's not a problem that you're not as strong as a man in this, or that's not a problem that a dude a dude is not as strong as a woman in this area. Because that's not their specialty. A lion, you know what I'm saying? The male lions can hunt. They can. But the female lions are the ones that hunt because that is their specialty. They're more agile. They're more fa they're faster. They're better at hunting. That's what they are. Now, a man can a male lion can hunt, but that's just not his specialty. So why would he waste his time on that when there's someone that's doing that versus the, the lion, the male lion? He's supposed to be protecting the pride and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Why would he go out hunting and all that and missing out on hit what he's supposed to be doing, which is protecting the pride? When he, I don't like that's what I'm be trying to figure out. You know what I'm saying? Because like. We all have our roles, and I don't know why people made this whole gender roles thing a bad thing to say at the end of the day. It's not a gender roles. Is, there's nothing wrong with gender roles. We all have our parts to play. A male has a part to play inside a relationship or inside society overall. A woman has a part to play inside society overall. It's not a bad thing. It's just our strengths. That's like complaining. That's like complaining that a freaking, a freaking, you know, a doctor that's a, a doctor that's a, 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 I got nothing. Just shut up. But you know what the heck I'm saying, though are still out here building the modern world. But when they come home now, the girl's like, oh, why should I cook for you? Would you be with me if I'd slept with over 50 men? I'm a high-value woman, right? <laughs> How can you be high-value if 50 men have slept with you? I've just been single for a long time. Oh, unacceptable. Why is it unacceptable? Oh, Somewhere on this planet, there is someone who is your age may look a bit like you, who was just given some bad fucking news. Either they were just given a cancer diagnosis and given two weeks to live, or the police just knocked on the door and said, your family's Yeah, a, a cement truck ran them all over, they're splattered all over the road. My family? Yeah, all of them. I guarantee a bomb in Syria or a chemical attack in Yemen. There's someone your age who just got given some bad fucking news. And if you were to sit there and explain to them your problems, they would swap lives with you in a heartbeat. And this is what most of you motherfuckers don't understand. You're not grateful for what you have because you don't understand and don't anticipate that there's someone out there who would do anything to have what you have. I'm not even talking about me with my Lambo and my beautiful women and all my shit. I'm talking about just a normal, safe life where you can watch Tate Speech YouTube videos and no one's gonna bomb your house. There are people who would do anything to trade with you. And if you were to sit there and try and explain to them all your problems, yeah, but you don't wanna, I'm depressed and, it's, and, it's, and I have no girlfriend and it's hard to make money and, and my life's hard. And you were to tell them all your stupid reasons that you don't like your life. They'd sit there and listen to them all and go, okay, yeah, no problem, let's swap. And they'd sign on the dotted line. Some child is outside enjoying that. That's facts, 100%, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, you gotta think about it. But there will always be someone with worse problems. So going through that whole thing of, I mean, that's a tool that I kind of use where it's like if I'm upset about something or mad about something, I'm like, this somebody's doing way worse than me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then that kind of, I don't know if it's good. It works for some people, it works for me. But like for everybody, I don't know if that works. But you know what I'm saying? Our life, playing with toys and smiling. And the dotted line. Some child is outside enjoying their life, playing with toys and smiling in the sunshine and having fun. I hate happiness. I hate happy children. Anyway, you're all losers. We've, we've discussed this before. <laughs> I'm the king of the world. No, no, no. Wait, you don't you go to the club with your friends. I don't know what kind of bitch ass dude is letting his chicks go to the club with her friends without him. No. You stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You're not, no restaurants, no clubs, nothing. Because life for a man is harder than life. I want to hear the rest of that video because that right there sounded pretty bad. Like, you can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Personally, I mean, I'm not with the whole clubbing thing. You know what I'm saying? But, like, going to a restaurant, that's cool or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. And, like, going to the club every, like, once in a while, that's cool. But every freaking weekend, every every week, like, dead. Very dead. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Like, for a woman, most men live depressing lives. For most men out here, they can't even feel wanted. Their wife left them. They're invisible to women. Their kids don't talk to them. They're just not wanted. Society has huge burdens on men. We're supposed to be smart. We're supposed to be rich. We're supposed to be interesting. We've got to have jokes. We've got to have chat lines, right? Got to be charming. Got to be cool. Experiences, stories. We need to have a lot of shit to be an important man. To be a woman, you need makeup. 
I got a message on Instagram and it was from a young 17 year old and he said, I'll do anything. I want to be mafia like you. Can we work together? And I sat there and I said to Tristan, why does everyone think we're mafia? We're not mafia. Like we don't run around with machine guns. I mean, obviously we have guns. Our house is full of machetes. Are we mafia? Anyway, I don't think, I don't think I'm mafia. So I said to Tristan, look, we're not mafia. Tristan goes, yes, we are. And I said, why? He goes, we're two huge fighting brothers with women naked on the internet who own casinos, who drive around Bucharest, Romania in over $2 million worth of fucking supercars. Everyone's afraid of us. And if anyone did piss us off at any point, even if we didn't want to fuck them up ourselves, we can make one phone call and they'd either be in a ditch or lose their any right to stay here. They'd have some visa issue and be kicked out of the country or arrested for no reason and put in a jail cell for months at a time. We are basically as mafia as you can get. So I guess I'm mafia. I didn't mean to be. So I was sitting there going, well, I never intended on being an organized criminal. How do you end up being mafia? And I've concluded that if you are competent in every single sphere, you're going to be viewed as mafia. If you're a big, strong, smart, rich guy who's super well connected, how can you not be mafia? How can you not be when everyone wants to know you? Who doesn't want to know the kickboxing world champion who walks into a club with 20 big booty QEs? Everyone wants to know me. The mafia want to know me. So I don't need to be mafia if all my friends are mafia. And also the idea of the first I don't get that one. It was, it, member of color. That wasn't really like controversial to me. I don't I don't care about mafia at all. Yeah. And also the idea of the first member of color in this family. We all knew it was coming. Is to get a jail free card of the modern world. Megan, you're lighter than me. Look at her face. She's white. She's basically white. Megan, no one looks at you and thinks black girl. Nobody. Don't try the black person card. If you're black and you're watching this, you should be very offended that this light skinned woman is going to try and play the black card. I was victimized because I am a Negro. Look at your straight hair. If you're so black, season me some chicken, bitch. And when it comes to. <laughs> wait, what the. Ain't it. that, wait, ain't that the, the queen or something like that? Ain't that like the daughter of the queen? It's something. She's somebody. Because I remember seeing on the news it was talking about like first black. Queen or something of England. It's something I don't know why. Why is he wilding out on this lady like that? Hold on, I didn't know she's black. Well, she she looks. They, they say she's black, but every time I would see her, I was I was confused as to who they was talking about. Like this, her. I don't know. If she half black, half white, whatever. But just having a taste of black inside the royalty family or whatever the heck it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, I guess that's lit. But like, I I'm think she's mixed. I don't know. You're so black. I mean, it's, it's black. Kinda. So it's there. It's it's definitely more. You know what I'm saying. It's it's there. Yeah. Season me some chicken. I don't know bitch. why he wilding. And when out it comes back, tasteless, bland, then we will know. We'll know conclusively. You ain't black. Stop saying it. You're a liar. And now she's adding race because what happened is Oprah was starting to dig a bit, and Megan saw herself getting cornered in her lie. So when you get cornered, you bring out the big guns. Shit. 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 Race. Race, race! Look at my skin! Look at my pigment! I'm a tiny bit brown. Shut up. Well, um, that's the end of the video. I'm not gonna lie to you. It it was okay, some of the stuff in here was pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. Like the last clip, that was probably the most wild. I don't know why he was wilding on that lady like that on the Queen. Sorry, your highness. You know what I'm saying? But whatever the heck, I don't know why he was wilding on her like that. Um, I don't, I don't get the context of that video at all. The other videos, it, he was, he really didn't say nothing like super, super crazy in this. And for this to be titled Andrew Tate's most controversial clips, it was a letdown. I was hoping for a little more like, women are trash, blah, 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 the dudes are the best people in the world, blah, 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 blah. Because that's what, like, I get, I think that's what people be saying he be saying. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't really searched to do it up. I've just seen the TikToks that have popped up on my Explore page, on, t on my For You page, whatever it is called on TikTok. But, um... Yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I told y'all my opinion on all these things. Um, some of the stuff I didn't understand what he, what the heck he was talking about, or how what it had to do with anything. Like when he was talking about the the mafia, and no, I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Also, the tiger, like what killed eleven tigers with with Japanese jitsu, whatever the heck he said. I don't freaking know, but I didn't get that. That wasn't controversial either. That was just weird and out of out of out of place, but. The other stuff, like, I agree with the whole the whole gender role thing. Like, I agree with most of that things. We all, not even gender roles, gender strengths. Let's talk it like that because everybody hates the word gender roles. But gender strengths. Each gender has their own strengths and weaknesses. 
Um, and that's just how God made us. You know what I'm saying? He made us for specific things. And we trying to do everything else. We trying to do everything that the other person is supposed to be doing just so we could feel equal or say I could do that too. When at the end of the day, it's not our specialty. It's not our strength. But that's my personal opinion. Y'all let me know, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Um, yeah, that's really about it. I'ma see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never but a line. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.